After an epic adventure sailing the Aeolian Islands, we've taken a rare weather window and sailed overnight en route to the Amalfi Coast. about it. No, I just fell off the seat. I've been watching this boat. Okay, I'm not a Morgos, but I'm a sailing vessel, so I'll just check if this other person's called just listening to, I think, the ferry over there talk to another boat coming towards us um, to let him know what his plans are. Um, told him not to change course or speed and he's going to pass on his stern. I was a little bit worried for a little while because he was calling out to a sailing vessel, but he did say a Morgos and we're not on AIS, so they don't have our, the name of our vessel anyway. Um, but yeah, they're clearing us easily. Um, I changed course by five degrees, so I'm going to turn five degrees back that way um, because the sailboat coming towards us is the giveaway vessel we have right of way. Um, we're on a starboard tack and we're also sailing downwind, so we're definitely a um, stand on vessel. So, keeps it interesting. happens when you change your cat litter they get excited and they christen it as soon as you've done putting the rocks in so we've got the bag and all <laughs> what's that fun girls doing a wee wee yeah you you bury lulu's too oh jesus christ i'm just playing in it we just got some uh internet to check the weather and it looks like it's coming a bit earlier than we expected so we might get smacked in it like we're supposed to have strong winds for tomorrow that's why we left uh monday uh um, not the only reason though hey it's because we had favorable wind today we as had well. favorable winds yeah which is pretty rare to get from aeolian islands to the amalfi um but yeah that's just picked up out of nowhere it's like this massive shelf of wind that's just missing us at the moment but in two hours it's most likely going to hit us so, yeah, that's so we're good. in the blue, we're in the blue, hey? We're in the blue, but it's not blue. We're we're still, the... We've still got 15 knots of wind at the moment. Yeah, we're in the blue zone and the red but is the red's, big shelf. The red's like 20, 25 knots. Um, and it should be on like a 60. So we'll see how we go. Eek. So we got two new battens replaced in Tunisia. Because we lost them on the way to Tunisia. <laughs> the Velcro on the back of the sail where the battens go into, they, they've worn away over time. Yeah. So they've just opened up and the battens come out and slowly just wiggled its way out. And we try to save the other two, but they both fell in the water when we try to save it because the sail was just flapping like this. So this time we went less dead downwind, we went on like a 30 degree angle so the sail wouldn't flap as much and then slowly try to bring the main sail down. And we managed to get it down enough that Janae was able to pull it out. And Literally nearly, like jump to pull it out. Jump to pull it out, <laughs> yeah. She nearly fell in the water too, so it's been a bit of a mission. But we got it out in the end, so we're happy because the, they cost us a hundred and... It's 180 euro for both, we've lost one. It was like, it was gone, our first sail. We didn't even see it come out. It was just gone. We're like, did they even put it in there? Yeah, because we were in such a rush to get get all the sails done um, on the last day and we didn't actually watch everything they were doing. So we're like, oh my God, they've forgotten to put a batten in. But we're assuming they probably have put it in 
and we lost it like straight out of the gates before we even could see. Yeah. Anyway, at least we saved one of them. But yeah, they did try a little method for us of making like a hole in the end of the button and sewing it, like stitching it onto the thing. But obviously the, the thing is, I can't see no hole in it. So did they even ever do that? There's no hole in the button. This is the end of the button. What the hell, man? Unless it's like underneath here or something. No, but like it can't be. No. Well, that's annoying. Like, why would you say you're going to do that and then not do it? Because if you weren't going to do it, we would have sorted a situation, something else out. Yeah, we would have done it ourselves. That's really frustrating. So that's how the first one's gone missing. Most I feel likely. like messaging and being like, look, you told us you were going to do it and you haven't. Like, I'm pretty disappointed. Unless like, sewed, like, the end up slightly and then that's just come out. Oh, so possibly to keep it in. Don't know. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to inspect. But anyway, now we're up for another baton. So anyway. Lisa, I'm not overboard, hey? That's, I would have come and got ya. <laughs> Obviously. Mate. I mean, how deep is this water right now? You made me breakfast this morning, so yeah, <laughs> I'm The sun rises behind her eyes, but she still can't see it. She's beside me, I walk slowly She feeds my soul all the gold I could need This whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby She's my cat and she's the sea. We want to share with you an eyewear brand we think you'll love. Valen was founded by two brothers with a deep passion for outdoor sports. Jace is rocking a pair called Howlin, 70s classic cool perfected for sports. They come with this head strap that clips into the custom cut holes, which guarantees your sunglasses stay on at all times, which is super handy for sailing. The kind you only find in a They're also polarized, which blocks glare and have adjustable temple ends to fit the face. Fight for me. And for everyday adventures, I'm rocking the Waylands. These are stylish, sporty, and fit smaller faces like mine. They also come with that nifty head strap and glare blocking polarized lenses. Viewing the world through Valen eyewear really is stunning. I was so impressed when I put these on for the first time. Plus they're comfortable to wear all day and they also come with this beautiful case to protect them when not in use. On another note, Valen is on a mission to offset their carbon footprint. For every pair sold, they remove and recycle one kilogram of plastic waste, fighting pollution. 85% of their frames are made from recycled fishing nets, ensuring longevity and protecting our oceans. Get yourself some Valen, wear sustainability, and be ready for any adventure. She's got my heart, she's got my soul. Believe me, I found my home. She's my captain, she's the sea. So we've got about 15 to 20 knots. It's starting to pick up. Still the same direction, which is weird. It was supposed to have switched already. But we've got a squall coming. Um, full sails out, wing on wing. Call us stupid but we're f***ing loving it. We're not stupid, it's slimy blowing. 12 and a half knots right now. Well, 12 to 20. Yeah, yeah. 10. It's bloody beautiful anyway, this is really, really nice. It's starting to cool down a bit because of that rain. We might even have a shower in it. Shower in the rain. Yeah. yeah, I mean we never get to do that because it usually rains in winter here. Yeah, I know. Or it's like we're in Croatia and it rained a lot, but it wasn't that hot. Yeah. So. So yeah, we've probably got what uh, twenty-eight nautical miles to go. So about four or five hours, depending on our speed. We're going six point three at the moment. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get there and. Yeah. 
well has picked up immensely. Lucky it's big, smooth, rolly waves, but they come up really high on the back of the boat sometimes. Can never quite get it on film as per usual, but we're feeling safe, so that's good. It's a massive hide. It literally looks like nothing on camera. Ready? Look at this one. That one looks big. It it, it looks flat. Isn't it? Ah! There goes the ferry. There's another big one. That one's like it's going to break. Guys, it's like as far up as where our tender is. Like it's just not obviously hitting the back of the boat like that because we're rolling nicely over them or it's rolling nicely underneath us. We can see the Amalfi Coast. It is very foggy and smoky and cloudy and whatever it is, but we see it. Windy coming in, the swell's changing direction, but we're not far out. We thought we'd just sail with a, just the mainsail the rest of the way, so we just got one less thing to deal Worry with. About, yeah. Especially with 24 hour passage where if you're lacking sleep, yeah. the less things you deal with, the better. So, it's been pretty horrible at this anchorage. It's extremely rolly. I feel seasick just on anchor. Um, and it's not like me either. We just talked to some other um, liverboards on their trimaran and they said this spot was way better than where we were somehow, even though it's like further towards the swell, but maybe you can just tuck in a little bit more. Anyway, they're trying to go into a marina, I think now, because um, his wife is still feeling seasick no matter what. So yeah, I guess we'll check this out. Um, and then just go from there. So, um, things crossed. So we were just over here. This is how bad the spell is already. Very, very open. See last night. You ready to see? We're piggybacked onto some Aussie and Canadian friends trimaran. Uh, it's a bit loud, there's a bit of waterworks happening here. But we were able to come and stay overnight on this quay for free, and there's even water. Um, and now we've been told, I think, that we can stay another night. So we can keep the boat here all day, tonight, um, which is when the wind's forecast. So yeah, we're so happy. <laughs> Um, didn't get an amazing night's sleep because I was really worried about these guys' boat that we've piggybacked onto. Um, got a nice trimaran, so didn't want to do any scratches or any marks or anything, but I think all is good. But yeah, and we're in this cool, in front of this cool little town on the Amalfi Coast. I'm not even sure what it's called. Um, we were so tired last night. By the time we got in, it was just a little bit chaotic. By the time we got to the anchorage, it was like worse than being out sailing. So, um after trying two different anchorages, putting up with swell that made us feel seasick. And we were so happy to get in here to the nice calm water. So yeah, I'll show you the view. How good's this too? We got free water, so we're filling up the tanks, hosing the boat down. So, so yeah. <laughs> free water. There's actually power there too. I'm not sure if you have to pay for it or not. Wow. But there is power there. So good. I just can't believe this view too. How cool. The only problem is we have to walk on a trimaran to get off the boat. It's really hard to get back onto the boat when you've walked on a trimaran. <laughs> yeah. Especially that Don't want to come back to ours. I'm just kidding, it's afraid I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, don't do it like that. She looks after us. 
We took full advantage of the free water and gave Escapade a much needed rinse down before potentially having to leave the harbour. Not explaining it, just B-rolls. Scooters. Scooters. Oh. <laughs> I told you it's too hard. We'll explain soon. Tell us about this situation, I'm way at the back of a scooter right now. So, um, you guys obviously saw that we got the harbour last night. Um, on the side of our friend's boat rafted up. Well, we got the news this morning that we could stay another night. So, um, we made a random quick decision that this would be the best time to hire a scooter and see the Amalfi Coast because it's too stressful to leave the boat on anchor and we can't afford a marina here. So. Um, yeah, perfect. Um, the cats will be fine because it's nice and breezy today. We've got a bit of a windy day. Um, so yeah, the reason why we could stay again another night was because um, the ferry that normally sits in that spot can't run today um, because of the swell. The swell being too big. 2.7 metres as it is out there. So now we're scootering along the Amalfi Coast doing like one of my bucket lists things that I want to do for so long. The scooter cost us 60 euro and then we had to leave a 350 euro deposit. We ho should hopefully get back when we go back. Hey mate, we're trying to film over here. Can you settle down? <laughs> so we've parked up, we've just scooted for ages. We didn't realize how far it was. It's so windy, but so beautiful to look at. And we're just on the perimeter of Positano now. So we're gonna go walk in and check it out. And if you want a sore ass, hire one of these bad boys. Oh. It's worth hiring it anyway because it's so windy and there's buses and stuff going past. There's a bit of tracking in some areas. At least you can skip a lot of it. Like, so much better to do this. Yeah. Even if you do get a salt bump, it's worth it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We'll see you next week to continue our Amalfi Coast adventures. And of course, as always, a special thanks to our patrons. Without you guys, these videos wouldn't be possible.